Hello, I am Mumlin. Welcome to my general mathematics class. Solving logarithmic equations and inequalities. The basic properties and those of logarithm. First, let b, x, and y be real numbers such that b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. The basic properties and those of logarithms are as follows. So let's start with... Here are the basic properties of logarithm. Properties and its corresponding examples. And we're going to use this exponential expression or the form of the exponential expression for a refer reference to adding properties. So first property or property 1, we have the log of b with base b. So ibig sabihin nun, a is equal to b or the value of a is the same as the value of the base. So its equivalent exponent is 1. So the example, the log of 3 with base 3 is equal to 1. So in exponential form, this will be 3 raised to 1 is equal to 3. Next example, we have the log of 11 with base 11 is equal to 1. So 11 raised to 1 is equal to 11. Next property, we have property 2. The log of 1 with base b is equal to 0. Because none, any value of the base with exponent 0 is equal to 1. Example, we have here log of 1 with base 3 is equal to 0. So as law of exponent, any base, any value of the base, as long as the exponent is 0, its equivalent is always 1. So next example, we have log of 1 with base 9 is equal to 0. So 9 raised to 0 is equal to one. Okay, next. Next. Okay, let's proceed with the next set of properties. Still, we're going to use the reference and property three, wherein the given is an exponential form and the exponential expression is in logarithmic expression. So, here is the format: b raised to the log of x with base b is equal to x. So, x be none, yung exponential form natin na in logarithmic expression, whatever the value of x, that will be the whole value of the expression. So, example, we have the uh, 5 with exponent log of 10 with base 5 is equal to 10. So, the value of x here is 10. The, therefore, the value of the whole expression, the whole exponential expression, is equal to 10. Now, next example, we have 2 raised to the log of 5 with base 2 is equal to 5. So, whatever the value of x, that will be the value of our whole ex exponential expression. So, notice then, yung ating value of b or bases are equal. So, we have the first example, 5 and 5. The second example, we have 2 and 2. Okay, so that will be our basis. Next property, we have property 4. The log of b raised to x with base b is equal to x. So this, this property has already been mentioned in the earlier lesson, lesson 1, by definition. So whatever the value of the exponent, or we're going to think of an exponent that will give the value of the log with, with any base for the expression b raised to x. So whatever the exponent or the value of exponent of a, that will be equal to x. So as long as a and b are equal. So example, we have the log of 2 raised to 4 with base 2 is equal to 4. 
Okay, so same basis. So the value of C will be 4, which is the exponent. Next example, we have the log of 7 uh, raised to 2 is equal to 7. So the exponent here is 2, same basis. Therefore, the value of the logarithmic expression is 2. Next, we have Next are the basic laws of logarithm. First law, we have the product law. The log of m times n with base b is equal to the sum of the log of m with base b and the log of n with base b, or the log of m with base b plus the log of n with base b. Okay, example, we have log of 6m or 6 times m with base 3 is equal to the log of 6 with base 3 plus the log of m with base 3. Okay, next example, we have the log of m times n with base 6. Its equivalent is the log of m with base 6 plus the log of n with base 6. Next, we have the quotient law. The log of m divided by n with base b is equal to the log of m with base b minus the log of n with base b. So, difference naman po from division, we expand to subtraction. So, the difference between m, the log expression of m and the log expression of n with base b. Example, we have... The log of m divided by n with base 3 is equal to the log of m with base 3 minus the log of n with base 3. Okay, so the next example, we have the log of 6 with base 2 minus the log of 2 with base 2. So that is equivalent to 3. So, kung i-expand pa natin or if we're going to simplify this or transform this to a quotient, we have the log of 6 divided by 2 with base 2, that is, 6 divided by 2 is log of 3 with base 2. So that is equivalent to 3. Next, the last law of logarithm, we have the power law. So the log of m raised to n with base b is equal to n times the log of m with base b. So as you can see, yung exponent po natin dito, we transfer it before the logarithmic expression, then multiply it to the logarithmic expression. Okay, so example. The log of m raised to 3 with base 4 is equal to 3 times the log of m with base 4. Ito naman po, log of n with raised to x with base 2 is equal to x times the log of n with base 2. Okay. Okay, let's try these examples. We're going to evaluate the following using the properties of the logarithms. First example, log of 4 with base 4 Okay, this is equal to 1, and that is property 1. Next is the log of 5 raised to 7 with base 5. So this is the value of the exponent. What value of exponent? By definition, this is 7, that is property 4. Next is the log of 1 with base 8, that is 0, property 2. Next, 7 raised to the log of 10 with base 7. Same basis, same value of basis on exponential and logarithm. So, therefore, the value is 10. It's property 3. And last, 3 times the log of 9 raised to 3 with base 9 is equal to 9. So, paano po nangyari yun? Let me evaluate this given. So, meron po tayong 3 log of 9 with base 3. I mean, raised to 3 and with base 9. So, itong part na to, 
this is equal to 3. Therefore, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9. Now, here are the properties of logarithmic functions. If base b is greater than 0, then the logarithmic function f of x is equal to log of x with base b is increasing for all x values. Next, if p is greater than 0 but less than 1, that is, the value of p is between 0 to 1, then the logarithmic function f of x is equal to log of x with base b is decreasing for all x. This means that the log of u with base b is equal to the log of v with base b, if and only if u is equal to v. Okay. Now, next are some techniques and strat or strategies in solving the logarithmic equation. We have first rewriting the exponential or the logarithmic expression to exponential form. That is the first step. Second using the logarithmic properties, properties 1, 2, 3, and 4. Applying the 1 to 1 property of logarithmic functions. So to be done, we just interchange the values of x and y from exponential to logarithmic. And the zero factor property, if a times b is equal to zero, then a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. Next, take into consideration the domain of logarithmic expression. To demonstrate the strategies or techniques in solving logarithmic equation, here are some examples. The given, first given, we have log of x plus 3 with base 5 equal to log of 22 with base 5. So, ito po ang ating given. Then, since our given has the same basis, therefore, we can apply the 1 to 1 property, creating the two values of a, x plus 3 equals to 22. Now, solve for x, transpose positive 3 to the other side, that will be x equal to 22 minus 3. So, next, simplify, we have x is equal to 19. So, let's try this next example. We have log of 9x with base 3 minus the log of x minus 8 with base 3 is equal to 4. So, notice we have the same value of bases, which is 3. And the operation used is minus or subtraction. So, from here, we can apply the quotient law of logarithm. So, we have the log of 9x over x minus 8 with base 3 is equal to 4. From this form, we can change this into exponential form. So we have 9x over x minus 8 is equal to 3 raised to 4. But the ring pong 3 raised to 4 is equal to 9x over x minus 8. That's nampo yun. Then next, we apply the multiplication property of equality, or we multiply both sides of the equation with the x minus 8, or with the numerator x minus 8. So we have 9x is equal to 81, that is equivalent to 3 raised to 4, times the quantity x minus 8. Next is we apply the distributive property. We have 9x is equal to 81x minus 648. So that is from 81 times x and 81 times negative 8. Then next is we simplify this equation to solve for the value of x. So trans we Combine like terms, 9x and 81x, so that is 9x minus 81x is equal to negative 72x, then equal to negative 648. Then divide both sides with negative 72 to solve for x for our final answer. So we have x is equal to 9. Now that was for solving logarithmic equation. Now we proceed with the solving logarithmic inequalities. Remember, if base is, or base b is greater than 0, then the logarithmic function y equals to log of x with base b is increasing for all x. So if b or base b is greater than 0 and less than 1, then the logarithmic function y equals to the log of x with base b 
is decreasing for all x. So this means that the log of a with base n is greater than the log of b with base n. Implies that a is greater than b. Moreover, bear in mind that the domain of the logarithmic function is the set of all positive real numbers. The techniques or strategies in solving logarithmic inequality are the same in solving logarithmic equations. Let's try this example. Find the values of x that will satisfy the inequality. The first given, the log of 2x plus 1 with base 2 is less than 3. Solution. So from this form, we can transform or change this into an exponential form. So we have the base 2. 2 raised to 3 is less than 2x plus 1. So 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. So we have 8 is less than 2x plus 1. Let's transpose positive 1 on the other side. That will be 8 minus 1. So we have 7 is less than 2x. Transpose 2 to solve for x by addition property of equality. So divide this both divide both sides with 2. So we have 7 half is less than x. So therefore, since the domain of logarithmic function is set of all positive real numbers, therefore the solution set of the inequality is still x is greater than 7 half. Next example. Now let's try this next example. The log of 9 with base 4 is greater than 2 times the log of x with base 4. So notice they are with the same basis, which is 4. Next is, apply the laws of logarithm. We have log of 9 with base 4 is greater than the log of x squared with base 4. Okay, so applying the one-to-one -one property, we can equate both values of a, which is the 9 and the x squared. So, 9 is greater than x squared. Now, extract the roots of both sides. So, we have the roots of 9 is positive and negative. 3, so we have x is less than 3 or x is less than negative 3. Now, since the domain of the log logarithmic function is the set of all positive real numbers, the given 2 times log of x with base 4 will be defined if x is greater than 0. Therefore, the solution set of the inequality is x is greater than 0 and less than 3. Or in other words, the values of x is between 0 and and three. So that's all for this session. Thank you for watching. Hope you've learned something.